Okay, so now that you have all your sources in, it's time to actually start writing some note cards. So let us do this. I'm going to sign into Noodle Tools. Okay, and just a reminder, in order to get into your project, you actually have to click there. So here are all my sources. Now this is one of the really cool things. So this is my uh, Encyclopedia Britannica article on Bessie Coleman. Okay, and if I click on that little thing, it will actually open it up. So here is another database article that I have. And it opens it up. And I'll pull up one of my websites. Now you probably only want to do these things like one at a time. You don't necessarily want to go and uh, have everything open all at one time. Now I'm going to just go to my Encyclopedia Britannica. If you were to look at Bessie Coleman's life, Okay, this one is a very short article. Maybe I'll go to the high school version of it. Might be a little bit longer. Ah, a little bit. Okay, so if you learn about Bessie Coleman's life, um, she, you know, she was African American. She was actually also of Native American descent, and life in the early 1900s was not easy. Um, Things were very segregated, and so she had a kind of tough growing up. Um, but then in her early 20s, decided she wanted to become a pilot and then really worked hard to do that. And she went to France and got her pilot's license. Then she came back, and then she did a bunch of air shows all across the United States of America um, until there was a horrible accident and she died. So... When I have to come up with my subtopics, I need to kind of break her life into these areas that um, kind of fit what I've learned. So I'm gonna click on note cards. Right now you don't see any note cards here because I haven't written any. But before I do that, I wanna create an outline. So if you wanna see your outline, you actually have to click on there. And on my first topic, um, I'm going to put early life. i got to spell life correctly, though. Okay, I'm going to click on this, and I want, actually want a Roman numeral number two, so I'll use these arrows to get what I need. I'll double-click to type. Um, pursuit of pilot's license. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can spell. Now, I want more than two, so I'm going to use the plus button and do another one. Um, life as a pilot. And then I'll create another one over here. And I'll put her tragic death. Okay, and I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to put on the world so any of the note cards I take they need to fit these five topics so I will start with this document right here now one of the things you can do is you can sit and read through the whole um, article and you can highlight the things you think are important um, I'm just, for our purposes, I'm going to copy and I can come over here and click on new note card. So this is what your digital note card looks like. I'm going to paste this on here, but I'm not going to keep this here. Okay. So I'm going to read through this and find one fact that fits one of our five things. So Bessie Coleman, an aviator, proved, um, and continues to be an inspiration for black aviators, men and women alike. Coleman was born in Atlanta, Texas on January 26, 1892. Okay, guess what? I've already got my new thing right here. 
turn on in Lampa is on There's really not too many ways I can write that one out. It's pretty basic. But you're going to try not to have it be just a copy and paste of what's in here. Oh, I, I need to pick where I got this one from. And this is from this article right here. And then I need to create a title. So I'm going to put birth. And I'm going to say save and close. So there's my new first note card. I'm going to create a new note card. It came from this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Um, her family moved to Waxahachie. Uh, I hope that's how you say it. Near Dallas while she was still a toddler. When she was seven years old, her father, who was three-fourths Indian, moved back to Indian territory, leaving her mother to rear four daughters and a son. Susan Coleman supported her family by picking cotton and taking in laundry, and the children helped her work. She could not read or write at that time, but she encouraged her children to learn as much as they possibly could. Okay, now at the time... Uh, they would have used the term Indian, like today we would say Native American. Um, so I'm going to put it over here. When I'm going to use her last name, because when you write your article, you refer to her as Coleman, was seven. Her father uh, moved out her... Mother had to raise four daughters and a son, uh, five children on her own. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to put dad left, single mom. Save and close. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just do one more. Okay, Bessie Coleman became the first black woman to gain international permit to fly. After learning French, she attended the famous flight school Ecole d'Aviation oh, okay. des Frères Calderon in northern France. Okay. I'm just going to grab... This here, and this is from the Black Past, okay? So, new note card. I'm going to paste this here. Find my source. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. It's on this one. Okay. I'm referring to her as Coleman. Coleman attended... Flight school at in France at a coal meaning school aviation oh, meaning flying des frères. If I hold down, I can the key the vowel it will bring up the different ones uh flight school of the brothers called Drum. okay uh and then this is in 1921 okay so now i'm going to come over here uh school of france and then Say save and close. Okay, so, so here are my note cards, and I actually want to get them into my outline. So I'm going to grab it and put it over here in early life. Dad left single mom, which is also early life. School in France. This is pursuit of her pilot's license. Now, these two are related. I can put one on top of the other. 
and I can create a pile. I can move these things around and get them out of the way. Um, piles are nice because it helps you keep things in order here, um, but the outline is definitely better. When I go to export these to um, Google, when I have them in my outline, I can put them in the order that makes sense. Like birth, obviously, should go first. And when I put them in a pile and I print them or export them, it's just whatever order I put them in when I put them in the pile. And so it may not make sense when I go to do my writing. So you definitely want to have your outline. The other thing is notice just by looking at the keyword um, for the titles or the phrase, I remember what's in the note card and it's easy to put them in order. If I just like made the title early life one, early life two, early life three, I wouldn't know what's in the note card and it would be very difficult to organize them. Okay, so just a reminder, you select the source, you put it in your own words over here, you're not really going to keep anything in direct quotation, and then you're going to put a keyword or phrase um, there. And when you're ready, you'll, it's, you'll do save and close. This is untitled, but you get, and then later if you go back, oh wait, I didn't title it, you just double click. You can get back in, you can do your edits. Okay, and oh no, where did my outline go? It disappeared. Well, not really, you just have to click there. Okay, so get busy with your note cards.